you want to go? All right, so I get asked all the time, every day, how to smooth things, how my sculpture is so smooth. And so I'm going to show you how to smooth different meshes together as one single piece that are going to be super smooth. So let's jump to my iPad. All right, so we have our default sphere. Let's go ahead and go to our scene and delete and add a new sphere. So if we want to take multiple spheres or multiple meshes, whatever shapes they are, and make them into one smooth shape, we need to voxel remesh. So we need to remesh the shapes together. So let's go to our scene. We have our sphere. We'll go ahead and validate. And then let's hit clone. So now we have two. We'll use our gizmo and move it over to here. Maybe we want to uh, clone that and maybe we want to move that here. Let's make this a little smaller just so it's a little more interesting. Okay, so let's say we want to make this shape into one smooth shape. Firstly, make sure that you have smooth shading on. That's very important. So if you go here and you go down, you see smooth shading. If smooth shading is off, then these might look uh, pixelated. Smooth shading affects each individual mesh. So for example, smooth shading is off on this one. That's the one we turned off. For this one, if I turn it off, you'll see that it just looks a little bit different. They look a little bit more pixelated. So just know that if you turn smooth shading on, that's gonna help a lot. So we'll just leave it on for these. Okay, so what we wanna do is go to our scene menu and select all of the meshes that you want to become one singular mesh. And then we'll just go over one here and you'll see voxel. So if I tap here, you see this resolution. So right now it's at 161, we can leave it there. And there's one thing that I always do in my tutorials. So if you're watching them, I always just use this little shortcut right here. If you don't see it, I believe the shortcuts are here in the cog. Am I just, am I wasting my time? Oh, here we go, shortcuts. See how I have voxel? So that's why I have the voxel shortcut there. So I always use the voxel remesh here and you'll see it's 161, it's the same number, it's the same thing, it's just a little shortcut that I always use. So let's go back to 161.3. We have all three selected, we'll remesh. So we change the surface of them to all be one singular mesh. So if I undo and I turn on the wireframe, but if I do the same thing, if I voxel, if I select them all, and if I voxel remesh them, You'll see that now it's got a little bit more resolution. The squares are a lot smaller or the, the shapes are a lot smaller and you can see that they are now fused together. I'm gonna to turn the wireframe off. The next thing is smoothing these. So now you just take smooth, the smooth tool. I'll make it a little bit bigger. So now you can smooth these together. So you can make them nice and smooth. I have symmetry on even though the shape is not symmetrical but it doesn't really make too much of a difference with this particular shape. Okay, so now we have one clean little molecule type thing. If we go in our scene, you see we have one sphere right here. We'll just name it cloud. So we have one shape and it's smooth. Okay, so how do you know whether you choose a higher resolution or a lower resolution when you're talking about voxel remeshing? So let's say right now this one is 61.6. So I'll take crease and I'll go like this. So this is very, very clear. So if I smooth this, it smooths all right. It's not too bad. But if I was to voxel remesh this again at a higher resolution, 400. Okay, so now I'll do smooth and see it's not as soft. So if I really wanted to try to maintain detail or something like that, I might remesh it really high to try and keep the detail. On the flip side, if I'm like, okay, I want this to be really soft. I want, I want this to be more smooth, smoother. I might go voxel remesh and I might go down even lower to like 40. I remesh it, you can see it's already losing a lot of detail. If I smooth it out, see how much it's smoothing? So that's when you bring the resolution really low, it smooths things really ugly. Okay, now let's say I wanted this but I still want it to, it to be smoother. See how it's kind of lumpy? I might Vox remesh it again around 150, which is, I think it's kind of a median. I might remesh it again, and then I might smooth that out, and that should get rid of the lumps, because it's sort of like a median type thing. 
so that looks a lot smoother. If you want to do details like this, my advice is to do that at the very end. You don't want to do fine details that you want to keep. You don't want to do that early on. If you know you're going to remesh, if you wanted to add a few more spheres, do all of the spheres, all of the adding first, and then at the very end, do your fine detail so you don't have to worry about remeshing. And usually a median, I usually try to do, like if, as I'm working, as I'm building things, I might just do 150 or 160, somewhere around there, which is kind of like a median. But again, I wouldn't do any of these details till I was like at the very end. Um, that's when I do all the, the fine detail. But when you're building something, when you're making your shapes, trying to figure it out, just do like 150 to like 200. That way it's not too soft, but not too firm. And you can still work with your clay. I like to call it clay. His mama named Clay. I'm gonna call him Clay. And that's about it. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.